Tesla has just changed its application for Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas. It's going to make some changes there, but first, apparently, the factory needs to get on its feet financially. Elon Musk has said a few times that it is a money pit. It's basically burning money up right now. Here's what they're about to do. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Now, let's just put it out there real quick. Tesla is about to ramp up production as quickly as humanly possible. Yeah, pretty sure Elon is living there in his little shed, his little um, motorhome or whatever that little building is he has nearby. I kind of think that's a good idea to do that. But pretty sure he's doing that because he doesn't like the fact that the Gigafactory in Texas literally is just burning through money. He said it, he's kind of said it again, and he's saying it again now. So this new extension Tesla have applied for is not actually to extend the factory, although it kind of is and it kind of isn't. Tesla actually changed its application for Gigafactory Texas to include an additional 522,750 square feet or 12 acres of space. But Tesla CEO Elon Musk has confirmed that these 12 acres won't be actually part of the factory. They'll be a so-called ecological paradise. And it will be located next to the main factory, basically just to give workers really a place to go and chill out, go for a walk. I think that's a good idea. Give workers some breathing space until you can fire them and replace them with robots, which is Tesla's ultimate plan. Seriously. However, he said they're not going to build the ecological paradise until the factory first gets financially on its feet. So yeah, there's no idea. Who knows? I have no idea when that's going to be. Now, to put this in context, 12 acres of ecological paradise. Well, where else has a similar kind of space like that? I was thinking, right? New York City. When I was in New York, I hired a bike and I rode my bike all the way around New York around the island, or it's not an island, but you know what I mean. And I actually went and rode around Central Park, which is massive. I was shocked by just how big it is. Really cool to have a such a massive green space right in the middle of a city. I don't know any other city in the world that has a park anywhere near that big. It's 843 acres. So Tesla's 12 acres compared to 843. It's good, but you know, it's not that big. Now, let's put it in contrast to the size of Tesla's actual Texas factory. Gigafactory Texas itself encompasses 250 acres. That's more than 10 million square feet. So if you're ever at Central Park, just think about it this way, right? Central Park is about the size of three Texas Gigafactories. Seriously, approximately three Texas Gigafactories would fit in Central Park. Kind of interesting to put it that way. So this new designated 12 acres of ecological paradise will be from the south end of Gigafactory, Texas to the Colorado River and will feature a boardwalk and a number of amenities. Musk also confirmed that the entire space will be open to the public. So, you know, if you're visiting like I hope to be next year, which will be awesome, can't wait to get there and check it out. Hopefully the ecological paradise is there for me to have a tour around and you know, I'm hoping to actually be able to get into the factory and have a look. The Texas facility actually opened last April and it's currently capable of producing around 250,000 EVs per year. However, at full capacity, Tesla estimates Gigafactory Texas will make over 500,000 cars a year. I'm going to guess they're probably aiming closer to 750,000, maybe even a million eventually. But of course, they'll have to use some of their production space to build the Cybertruck. And building Cybertrucks is obviously going to take up more space than other vehicles. It's a prototype type vehicle. I mean, it's never been made before with this exoskeleton. So it's really a unique type car. It's going to be interesting to see how Gigafactory Texas and Tesla in general go next year, ramping up production of the Cybertruck. I think it's going to be a massive challenge. It's never been done before. I mean, no company's ever made a vehicle like that before. So it's going to be an insanely interesting year for Tesla. But I actually think Tesla are more focused on their robot now. I think that Elon Musk has gone, you know what? That's what we need more than anything else. That will increase our efficiency. That will allow us to just take over the world. I'm serious. Take over the world. I think that's what Tesla wants to do. 
the robot is the number one way for them to get there. I've been thinking this for a long time. Now let me know what you think about that idea in the comment section below. If you haven't already watched my video about how Tesla wants to let its robots or use its robots to, you know, take over many industries around the world, I'll put a link in the description below to that video. The Tesla currently has six manufacturing plants all around the world right now. Five of those are big enough to be called gigafactories. Now, for those of you wondering, what exactly do you have to be to be called a gigafactory? Well, the truth is Elon Musk actually created this term himself. You know, he's probably the world's greatest marketer and he comes up with these kinds of terms and they just catch on. So a gigafactory is actually a massive factory that produces lithium ion batteries for electric vehicles or electric cars and or both energy storage and other battery powered devices on a massive scale. Now the word has become a word commonly used, not just by Tesla, but now other companies, other CEOs of other car companies are starting to use this terminology as well. And the word gigafactory comes from the notion of a gigawatt or 1 billion watts. 1 billion watts is enough energy to power 700,000 homes for an entire year. So technically speaking, a gigafactory is a battery factory capable of producing more than one gigawatt of continuous power per year. However, most gigafactories around the world are produced between 10 to 30 times this amount, as you can see by this chart here, showing you some of the gigafactories that are currently in existence worldwide. Now, technically, there is currently 200 factories either built or being built, which you could call gigafactories all around the world. In fact, China has 156 gigafactories, which is more than any other country in the world by far. But that number was an estimation by the end of May 2021. It's likely they have closer to 200 by now. Europe has 38 gigafactories. The USA has 18 gigafactories. And other countries have a total of, well, no one knows. But if you can work that out, you'll get a special prize from me. Uh, not really. But um, let us know if you can work it out. And tell us in the comments section below. This year... Tesla hopes to produce around 1.5 million vehicles, which would be a bit more than a 50% increase than the 930,000 vehicles that Tesla delivered in 2021. Tesla's next gigafactory, where's that going to be? Well, I think we all know. Two locations. One of those is China, Shanghai. They'll be building another gigafactory next to the current gigafactory in Shanghai. The key reason being that uh, that's the factory in the world that makes the most money for Tesla by far. That's where they make the most profits. Their EVs are by far the cheapest to produce there. One of the key reasons for that is Tesla's supply chain, very, very close to that factory. Batteries, everything is made there, very, very close. And of course, labor is cheaper in China as well. Tesla's second gigafactory, more than likely, based on all the reports we've been seeing lately, is, well, it's almost a done deal. It's gonna be in Canada. It looks likely it's gonna be near a mine. And I interviewed that mine owner late recently, a nickel mine owner. I'll put a link in the description below to that interview with that mine owner where he talked about what he thinks Tesla is doing and why they're doing it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.